Okay, let's talk about Apple and what is happening with progressive web apps, uh, what is happening with iOS 17, and what I think could potentially be happening in the future with Apple, the App Store, the web, all this and more coming up on this next talk with me. I'm Carolyn Hart, founder of iHub App. Okay, so maybe you're hearing about progressive web apps in uh, March of this year, iOS 16.4 goes out and Apple enables push notifications. And this is a really exciting thing that's happening for everybody who has been working in PWAs for a while. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that, you know, there was a few lawsuits that happened uh, with Apple and antitrust um, that is leading this path into progressive web apps. Basically, to sum it all up, Apple said, no, 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 we're not doing anything antitrust because developers have other options. Namely, they have progressive web apps. Now, Apple announces that they will be fully enabling PWA with iOS 17. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, wow, what does that mean if suddenly much of the different app tech features that were once exclusive only if you had built an app in the App Store are suddenly available on your PWA? What will that potentially mean? There are people who are saying Apple's gonna lose so much money that there's all these different things that are gonna go wrong for Apple. And quite frankly, I just don't see that being the case whatsoever. When you take a look at what's going on in the web right now and privacy and security, my first question is why wouldn't Apple simply make up a certification, call it APPL, app -L, get it, app L certification, just like we have an SSL certification going on that allows us to have that security. You can know that this website is trusted. I don't know about you, but if Apple had an app L certification for the web that happened to be PWA enabled and gave me a bunch of different features, superior privacy, security, that whole social proof that I can be trusted, I'd be all over that web certification. And what would that mean for Apple? Well, suddenly it's not just the App Store anymore. It would be the entire World Wide Web. And I think that would be a very, very powerful place for Apple to be playing. But it's not just Apple. So you need to go back and understand that progressive web apps, they've been around for years. In fact, they were invented over by the great Googlers that did it. Hi, Jake Archibald and Alex Russell. And they were the ones who first brought this tech out into the social universe that we now understand. And one of the very first implementations years and years ago that they did was with Flipkart India. And no surprise, there was like 10 times the amount of engagement because if you don't have to go into an app store, then find an app, then install an app, if you can immediately just click on a URL and that device is detecting everything, that's gonna be pretty powerful, right? Now you don't have any friction, you don't have any wait times, people are gonna be excited because they're engaging with your content. And essentially that's what's going on in the world of apps. 